Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I get to walk you around a used 2021 Tiffin Wayfair 25TW. So twin bed setup. 25 feet 8 inches overall length, your standard length for your Class C on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Before we start walking around, let's talk about some options that are up on the roof. This particular Tiffin Wayfair is pretty well loaded up. So in the very back left corner, you can see a little bit of a dome coming up over the top. That's going to be a wine guard satellite dish. It is an in motion capable, capable of either direct TV or dish network. Now to the right of that, you see a little silver block looking thing. That is a 100 watt solar panel installed at the factory with a solar controller that we'll show you inside. And then last but not least, as an option for the roof, we upgraded this one to a low profile Coleman Mach 15,000 BTU air conditioning. The standard is a 13.5. This one's a 15, gives you a little bit better cooling, which every motorhome needs. So now to top all of that off, standard on a Tiffin Wayfair, you do get a Gerard 1000 power awning. Notice it is a uh, frameless awning. So power extend, power retract. We've got an LED light strip here in the end of it and it has the wind sensor so if it starts bouncing around too much it'll just go ahead and retract itself to keep it from being damaged now also on both sides we got speakers in our awning those are controlled inside via a bluetooth am or fm radio we'll show you that once we get in there also standard on the tiffin wayfair something you don't see on class c's very often is full body paint so no stickers, no decals that you have to worry about cracking and fading over time. Now for a used motorhome, this is about as close to new as they come. I'll get you mileage and everything as we go inside. Another option for 2021 Wayfair was the exterior entertainment. Just a nice 32 inch LG HD TV that is a smart TV. So if you want to use your streaming services on it, you can. Down below, good storage, but more importantly, we have another option. So the standard for the 21 Tiffin Wayfair was a 1000 watt Xantrax inverter. They upgraded this one to a 2000 watt Xantrax inverter. Now with the 2000 watt Xantrax inverter upgrade, we also get two Dragonfly 100 amp hour lithium batteries in lieu of the standard uh, AGMs. Coming back, Truma AquaGo, that is going to be an on-demand on -demand hot water system. Towards the rear of the Tiffin Wayfair, we've got a 12 gallon propane tank. This is where we're gonna fill it. This is where we're gonna service it. More storage down below. Up in this corner, we do have a propane quick disconnect. So if you carry an external barbecue, you have propane available. You don't have to carry an extra bottle. Now, this is what's great about the Tiffin Wayfair TW is you actually get some pass-through storage. So that will go all the way through to the other side. I'll open the other side up so you can see it, the light coming through. All the way across. So if you've got things like fishing poles, longer, uh, longer chairs, maybe some of those smaller tables, you could absolutely fit it in this storage compartment. The door's a lot bigger over here on the driver's side for those wider objects you need to put in that storage compartment. On the back, way up at the top, we've got a full color HD backup camera. All LED lights all the way around. And then down below, a two inch receiver with a 5,000 pound towing capacity, 500 pound vertical weight capacity. That's gonna be the tongue weight of your trailer. We've got a seven pin connector to set up there for trailer brakes and trailer lights. If you wanted to put a brake controller in it, it's not very hard to do. Reaching the driver's side, the other pass through, the other side of our big pass through bay. Now this is just some of the stuff that Tiffin sends with each coach, bolsters for the driver and passenger seat, your floor mats, things like that. The previous owner just left them all here. Down below a little bit of storage, but more importantly, you've got your 30 foot, 30 amp power cord. Now there is a pass through hole 
over on this corner so you can slide your hose cord through it and still lock this compartment up if you're storing items in there. A little bit more storage, but more importantly, this is your water bay. So we've got our whole house water filter, our pent air water pump. Now, I like that this water pump is so easily accessible. If you ever needed to change it out, you have the room in here to do it without fighting it too much. Hot and cold exterior shower and your water connections. So for fresh water, you've got 38 gallons. Black water, you've got 28 gallons. And gray water, you've got 33 gallons. So pretty good capacities for a Class C motorhome. Here are the dump valves for your gray and black tank. There's a hole down there in the floor. You just slide your hose up through the hole. And then last but not least, in the very front corner, we've got the standard Cummins Onan Quiet Diesel 3200 watt generator. Now that is gonna pull directly off of the main fuel tank for the RV. You don't have to worry about filling two separate tanks. You've got a 24 and a half gallon fuel tank for this RV which is gonna feed both your engine and your generator. And turn this on. Now, just to show you the stuff that you can't see once we're inside and I'm sitting in the seat, this Sprinter chassis does come standard with power seats for both driver and passenger side. We've got three memory slots there, so if you have multiple drivers, you just push the button, it'll go to their position. Heated seats, your power door unlock, power windows, and then power mirror adjustment all right there on the driver door. This Tiffin Wayfair is built on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It's powered by a 3.0 liter turbo diesel, which produces 188 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque. Cruises along, gets about 16 miles to the gallon. Really a pleasure to drive. And now we can head on inside So as you come in here, there's a couple things. Another option that I want to talk about that this coach is equipped with. Right here next to the entry door, we've got the Bigfoot power leveling jacks. So that is auto leveling. Press power, press auto level, four jacks deploy. will take all the play out of the suspension as well as get you a level for your sleeping and everything. Now as we come in, this coach is fully closed up right now. This is as small as it's ever going to be. And as you can see, it is fully functional. Something I love about the TW is you can use everything without ever opening a slide. But for the video purposes, we'll go ahead and get it open. So just while I'm over here and kind of right next to all this, let's talk about this stuff first. So right next to the entry door on the opposite side of your leveling jacks, we've got our spider panel. So this is going to be all of our controls for this motorhome. So up top, we can look at our fresh gray, black, and propane tank levels, turn the water pump on and off, turn on and off our tank heaters if we're out uh, winter camping, some lights, our master lighting page slides and then last but not least just our screen settings right here we've got the control for that gerard awning put it in and out turn on the light and then down below we've got the boss audio headset here am fm bluetooth this is what's going to play through those external speakers on the awning as well as two internal speakers here so you always have music available up front this tiffin wayfair does have the cab over bunk in lieu of the entertainment center. So if you have some extra people that you need to sleep, we have room for them. Also has the option for the theater seating in lieu of just the standard uh, couch with a sofa sleeper in it. Now with the Wayfair TW, you do get the drop-in table for the theater seating. So if you need a place to eat, you got it right there. We can also set that up in between the driver and passenger seat. Both of those do swivel and become part of the living area. 
So you could eat from there as well, or if you have multiple people, you have multiple seating arrangements. Up above, really good storage. Probably act as additional kitchen storage, but important right here, we've got all the original owner's manuals for both the chassis and the motorhome portion of this coach. The previous owners did not get rid of them, which is awesome. To the back, Norcold 12 volt compressor refrigerator, run directly off of your battery power. Nice big ice chest. And then down here, we've got the pull-out drawer. Now, Tiffin actually designed this so that it will fit a gallon of milk in that drawer. If you want to take a gallon of milk camping with you. Flipping it around to the kitchen, we got another 32-inch LG TV. I love that Tiffin did this. They actually put storage behind the TV, as well as your pre-wired HDMI cords and everything, so you don't ever have to put anything in this compartment. It's all going to go in the back, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. Next to the TV, we've got the high point convection microwave. So this is gonna act as your oven and your microwave. Down below, solid surface countertop, single bowl undermount sink with dual covers. And then if you're doing dishes and need a little bit better pressure, we do have a sprayer nozzle. Another awesome feature here, we've got the flip up outlets so we've got two 110 volt outlets as well as two usbs now another very important feature of this tiffin wayfair is every single one of these open every single one of these windows open and they just pop out just like that so they can be open let and air in even if you're in a rainstorm snowstorm windstorm but every single window in here opens for extra airflow Next, we've got a two burner gas cooktop that is gonna pull directly off of that 12 gallon propane tank. On the TW, we do get a little bit of a countertop extension as well, just for extra prep space or to put your silverware while you're cooking. Three drawers coming down the front. Right here, we've got some of the extra stuff that Tiffin throws in, touch up paints, an extra set of keys. and one more big drawer down below. <coughs> Moving back just a little bit, really big cabinet here, great place for your pots and pans storage. Also over on this right side, another option, we've got the connection for our central vacuum system. The hose is in the back, but you can uh, vacuum out this entire coach from right there. And then nice towel rack, just for your dish towel or whatever. Moving in back into the bathroom, so the TW does come with a split bath. Shower curtain built into it. But, I mean, it's a nice big shower. Plenty of room in here to get in and do what you need. Shower is actually tall enough. I'm six feet tall just for reference, but hot and cold shower. Now for privacy from the front of the motorhome, this door does just swing across to cut the bathroom off from the rest of the coach. Let you squeeze by me. As for the actual toilet, good amount of space in this bathroom. Just got a standard foot flush toilet. Up above, single bowl counter mount sink. Nice big vanity mirror. Now we do have three different towel racks in this bathroom. So you've got one on the door, one here, and then another on the door. So two on the door, I should say. And then medicine cabinet on the back side of the bathroom. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. And then I'll switch sides with you one more time. All right, moving back into the bedroom. We've got the TW floor plan, which stands for the twin bed. And that's what I say at least. So what I really like about this twin bed setup in comparison to other models is it doesn't feel cramped out here. They actually give you a big enough walk space here that you don't feel like your knees are hitting everything as you walk through it. Down below, we've got four wardrobe drawers. Notice all the drawers in this motorhome are quiet closing. And then twin wardrobes. So we've got dual hanging wardrobes in the bedroom. 
This one's got the toolkit for our central vacuum system. Same thing on the opposite side. Then above a lot of extra storage for all your bedroom needs. Now, this cabinet here is going to be our AV compartment for this entire motorhome. So this is where we're gonna put a satellite receiver if we wanna use that satellite on the roof. This is where our DVD player is. They are gonna be able to operate all three TVs that are in this motorhome. And last but not least, in the bedroom, we've got our utility center. So right starting top left, we've got the switch to turn on that WineGuard satellite system. Our Xantrex 2000 watt inverter control panel. Victron Energy Solar Controller, or Solar Monitor, I should say. The control to start and stop that Onan Quiet Diesel 3200 watt generator. So a used 2021, this generator has five hours on it. So it definitely wasn't out boondocking very much. Antenna or cable selection for our TVs. The actual solar controller. This is our solar monitor. This is our solar controller. And then the Truma AquaGo control, that's gonna be our on-demand hot water system. So there's three different ways we can run that. There's a cleaning mode, a boost mode, and then an the economy mode, just depending on how much fuel you wanna use. It is going to burn propane. Now on the opposite side, one more TV for this Tiffin Wayfarer TW, that is gonna be a 27 inch LG TV as well. And then on the TW, you get this nice folding platform. Very easy, it's not heavy at all. Anyone could definitely undo that. And once you have folded that platform, you put in your filler cushions and you can turn that into a big king bed. For a little bit more sleeping space. And that's pretty much gonna wrap up the house portion of this Tiffin Wayfair. Next, let's talk about the cab and chassis. So one thing I really like about Tiffin uh, and the way they do their beds is it is gas prop assisted. So just push it up. This just got hung up and this just got hung up. Push it up, it stays out of the way. Gives you a lot of headroom as you're trying to duck down into the cab. Or if you have these chairs swiveled around, it gives you headroom while you're sitting in them as well. So with this being a 2021, you do get the new Sprinter chassis. The easiest way to differentiate between the new Sprinter chassis and the old Sprinter chassis is these cup holders. Um, the old ones didn't have it. They had one up here, one up there, and they were terrible. You couldn't fit a water bottle. But the new Sprinter chassis do have some nice cup holders right here in the middle. Directly above that, we've got our HVAC controls for the cab, as well as our hazards lights. Moving up, we've got the Mbux Entertainment Center. So this is going to be our radio. Right now we've got it on the navigation screen. My favorite thing about this is it's actually a good screen. You don't have to really like press on it very hard. It feels more like a phone touch screen than a vehicle touch screen. And then from the steering wheel, I can control everything on that radio using these little swipe pads. We've also got volume adjustment for the radio, answer or decline phone calls, and then a push to talk. Over on the left side of the steering wheel, we've got our cruise control. Now the new Mercedes Sprinter chassis does come standard with adaptive cruise control. In the Tiffin Wayfair chassis, it does come standard with adaptive cruise control. So it'll slow up, slow down and speed up as necessary with traffic. Again, being a used coach, this one has 8,147 miles on it. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen anything on it that I would say is like worrisome at all. It doesn't look like it was ever abused by any means. Up top, a little bit of storage, but more importantly, we've got connections for your cell phones. This is capable, or this is compatible with Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay. Awesome little entertainment center though. Now, the passenger seat as well is power. So we've got power heated seats, again, three memory slots. So if you and your spouse are switching drivers, um, you can just hit your, or program your own memories. Now, 
I mentioned these seats swivel around. Let's go ahead and just demonstrate it really quick before we end the video. So all you have to do, move the seat forward. There's a lever down here on the front. And then around it goes. Now those bolsters that I showed you back in that pass-through storage, they are so that your knees aren't sitting up. It would actually prop you up a little bit in the seat because there is a pretty significant step down into the cab. But I can move this seat all the way back now and get a little bit more room between me and the door. Actually a pretty good, pretty comfortable place to sit. So, and I think that's gonna wrap up my walkthrough of this 2021 Tiffin Wayfarer 25TW. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you so much and we'll see you next week.